This time we're going to look at converting an ordinary number into standard form. Now a standard form number has essentially two parts. It's got a number which has got to be less than 10 and it's multiplied by a power of 10. So to get from this type of number to this type of number you've got to have a number less than 10 and a power. Now the way we do that is at the moment the decimal point would be on the end of this number. We need to move it until we make a number that's less than 10. So that would mean between the 6 and the 7. So our first part of our answer is going to be these numbers here. It's going to be 6.78. We don't include any of the zeros because they're irrelevant after the second decimal point. We only include the non-zero numbers. Now the power is how far we've moved the decimal point. So to get from here to here, how many numbers have we jumped over? So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. So our answer for this one would be 6.78 times 10 to the power of 11. So let's use the same method for this one. First of all, we've got to make a number less than 10. So we would move the decimal point in between the 5 and the 3. So we would have 5.34 times 10. And how far did we move it? One, two, three, four places. So that would be your answer for the second one. And the last one, move the decimal point in. We can't stop between the 0 and 4 because 10.4 is ever so slightly bigger than 10. We'd have to go one more. So our first number would be 1.04 times 10. How far have we moved the decimal point? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8 places to the power of 8.